the 9th of March 2012, this is Capital FM Online TV News. In the headlines, President Kibaki says general election to be held next year. Health workers vow to continue with strike over pay. MPs protest move to sack 25,000 striking health workers. And British High Commission dismisses ICC allegations against Kibaki. Good evening, I'm Victoria Rubadiri. President Mwai Kibaki has given the strongest indication yet that general elections will be held next year. Addressing leaders from Nyeri at the Sagana State Lodge, the head of state said it was important to dwell on what the court ruled since he has no authority to change the court decision. High Court judges recently ruled that elections should be held in March 2013 unless the two principals agree to dissolve the coalition government this year. If that were to happen, elections would have to be held within 60 days of the coalition being dissolved. Prime Minister Raila Odinga has maintained that elections should be held at the end of this year. Visiting U.S. Undersecretary for Political Affairs Wendy Sherman earlier in the day urged the government to publicly, publicly announce the election date and end anxiety. Kama tuna shaguana, tuna shaguana baada mwisho wa mwaka huu, the new year, mwaka ujao. Sidiyo. Health workers have vowed to continue in their strike over pay even after the government sacked all 25,000 of them partaking in the action, creating a potentially devastating shortage. National Nurses Association of Kenya Chairman Luke Kodambo says the strike is still on, adding the sacking did not make any sense in any way and that it is not possible to dismiss such a large part of the workforce. The nurses went on strike March 1st to protest the government's failure to implement a salary increase agreed last year, when they also stopped work to press for improved services in mostly ill-equipped public hospitals. Kenya Health Professional Society Coordinator Fred Omiya says the government is worsening the situation by announcing the sackings. Government spokesman Alfred Matua announced yesterday the drastic cuts, saying the country could no longer sit and watch as Kenyans suffer in hospitals without medical attention because nurses and other medical staff are on strike. Few nurses reported to work this morning in public hospitals in Nairobi, with similar reports from across the country. The strike has crippled public hospitals, with patients being sent home untreated. We are not asking for extra money, no. To Metosheka for now, as we stand here. Well, what was contract? Popularly known as ESP. They were employed by the Economic Stimulus Program. Wawe absorbed. So. Meanwhile, the Parliament's Committee on Health, led by Chairman Robert Monda, says it will intervene in a bid to resolve the deadly standoff. Monda says the sack order by the government is reckless and insensitive to the majority of Kenyans who depend on public health institutions for medical care. Committee member Fred Ohuta termed the strike as a national emergency that should be addressed urgently. The British High Commission has dismissed allegations made in Parliament yesterday accusing the UK of conspiring to have President Mwai Kibaki face trial at the ICC over post-election violence. A statement from the High Commission says documents containing allegations which were tabled in Parliament by Yata MP Charles Kilonzo are not genuine. The High Commission says evidence that the documents are not genuine is depicted by a plethora of spelling and grammatical mistakes in the statements. It says the allegations by Kilonzo is a smear campaign aimed at destabilizing relations between Kenya and the UK. And that does it for our stories today. Thank you for joining us. I'm Victoria Rubadiri.